look, I'm a strong believer that Christmas decorations shouldn't go up until after Thanksgiving. So it was a bit of a difficult choice for me when I found this car the other day. This is Clutch Kringle, the new release for this year's holiday cars line, and part of me really wanted to wait a week to review him so that I could be reviewing him after Thanksgiving, but part of my job as a reviewer is to try to get reviews of new items out as soon after I got them as possible. Sometimes that falls through. My review I did the other day of Johnny Blamer, uh, I, I, I got him about a month before I reviewed him, but we'll ignore that because Clutch Kringle here, he is of the utmost importance. Hello everybody and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to take a look at Clutch Kringle from the 2023 Cars Holiday Assortment. This, just like last year, is just the exact same wave as 2021, but this time around with a new release. I don't really mind the fact that they're re-releasing the same holiday cars every year these days. It would be nice to uh, get, you know, a few of them swapped out. Maybe replace Snowplow McQueen with regular Holiday Hotshot McQueen. I'd love to see Sheriff. Sheriff is one of the few holiday cars I'm missing. Uh, there are two variants of him. I'd love to see either of them brought in. But, you know, the fact that we got a new release this year really helps make this year's line special. Now, Clutch Kringle is from the book Mater Saves Christmas and a few other adjacent Cars holiday books, I believe, just like the snowmobile a few years back, just like every Christmas car we've ever gotten, that is where he originally appeared. And just like how we got a reindeer for the Santa car, Clutch Kringle is one of his elves, which you could probably already tell from his little elf crown hat. So in case you thought this was Santa car, it's not. Santa car is this massive behemoth of a die cast that is one of the rarest, most expensive cars ever made. Uh, and this is just more proof that they'll make any of Santa's helpers, but not remake Santa car, probably because he's simply too big and he wouldn't even fit in a deluxe bubble, you know? He'd have to come in a multi-pack like he did back when he first released. On the back, you could see Snow Day Sally, Lightning McQueen with Snowplow. We've got the holiday variants of Luigi and Guido, Sarge with Roof Lights, We Who Winter Mater, Decked Out Doc, the 2021 Holiday Ramon, and of course the Snowmobile. Now taking Clutch out of the package, I just need to compliment how much I love the name Clutch Kringle, how it does a great job combining, you know, a Cars pun with some some Christmas lore that the elf's last name is uh, Kringle. And here he is out of the package. He's so great. This guy is great. This is honestly, you know, this is a, re a release that came out of nowhere. You know, um, I started seeing people spotting this year's holiday cars line and being like, oh, it's kind of disappointing. That's just the same as it's been since 2021. And then this guy randomly surfaced online. Uh, and we were all very excited. I was very excited. I know a lot of people were very excited for this guy. This is such a well done car. Honestly, this is one of my favorite new releases from this year. One that came completely out of nowhere. We had no clue this was happening and it turned out looking great. I love how he looks kind of like wrapping paper. Um, I really, really like how this is raised up. This silver part dividing the red part and the green part. This is textured, raised up, silver painted. Really, really well done. If there's one thing I don't like about the car, it's the mouth there between the bumpers, but it's very rare that we get a car's character whose mouth is placed between the bumpers, which, you know, many of them are, so... That is pretty nice to see. Of course, we have that nice Santa hat. Seems mine has a couple paint scuffs on it, which is a bit disappointing. Got that nice, you know, green elf crown. Hat droops over to one side. A very uniquely shaped car, of course. Really, really well done. No license plate on this guy. I love the exaggerated cartoony proportions of him. Not only does he come from a book... Uh, which may have inspired part of, you know, those sort of cartoony proportions based on different authors' illustrations. But he's also, you know, a, a magical creature within the Cars universe, so he doesn't have to look 100% like an actual, legit car. There's a look at the other side with the hat drooping down. And finally, there is a look at the base. Such a well-made item. Such a great car. It'd really be nice if we got the other elf cars from the book. Maybe someday. I'm really glad that the holiday cars are consistently available again. They've been coming in and out on and off for years and years now, but getting them consistently every year is really nice, especially if they're going to keep throwing in new ones. Hopefully next year they do swap out some of the re-releases, um, but yeah, really, really great to see. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.